Something we get asked for a lot is an explanation of smoke vent areas and which ones matter. Now I thought that'd be a great subject for a two minute Tuesday, before then wondering whether I could do it in anything like two minutes. But we're going to give it a go because you guys asked for it and you want it. So let's roll the intro. So first up is geometric free area. Now the reason I'm starting with this one is actually to debunk a myth. There is no such thing as geometric free area. However, what there is such a thing as is geometric area. Now geometric area is basically just the hole in the roof. Before any products get involved, no curbs, no nothing, it's literally the hole in the roof. And you'll see why that matters in just a moment. What I'm gonna explain now is the coefficient of discharge. Now, I know it sounds scary, but there's no need to be concerned. All you need to know is that it's something that us as manufacturers care about a lot because we pay for expensive tests to be carried out on our smoke vents so that we understand how efficient they are. And then we'll publish the information on how efficient the smoke vent is in its declaration of performance. The next value we need to talk about is the aerodynamic free area. Now this is the geometric area, so the hole in the roof, multiplied by the coefficient of discharge, the efficiency of the vent. So you might ask, why does aerodynamic free area matter? Well, it's the most scientifically accurate way of measuring the performance of a smoke vent. We as manufacturers have to state on the CE label of our product what its aerodynamic free area is. That's in accordance with EN 12101-2. However, you also need to be aware of the free area. The free area is a way of describing how well air can travel through a vent for the purposes of natural ventilation. It's essentially a non-scientific way of calculating the efficiency of a vent. Approved document B states, the total unobstructed cross-sectional area measured in the plane where the area is at a minimum and at right angles to the direction of airflow. So we take the vent and we measure it up and we deduct the area taken up by the motor and blades if the vent has blades. And that gives us the free area. Now whilst free area is pretty non-scientific in that it doesn't take into account things like crosswinds and splayed curves etc, it is the number that matters in relation to building regulations, more specifically approved document B. Building regulations state for example that you must have a vent with a free area of one square meter at the head of the stair. However the industry is campaigning for aerodynamic free area to be the number that matters. And that's because it's a scientific, repeatable way of calculating the efficiency of a vent, rather than maybe a somewhat woolly number like free area. Because of this misalignment between building regulations and certification of products, it's important that we work out some way of correlating between aerodynamic free area and free area. So for example, if we've got a ventilator that's CE marked to EM12101-2, and we're using it in a situation in accordance with approved document B section 5A, then the declared aerodynamic free area of the vent must be no less than one square meter for a free area requirement of one and a half square meters. And the aerodynamic free area must be no less than 0.7 for a free area requirement of one square meter. So to recap, geometric free area doesn't exist. Geometric area is the hole in the roof with no allowances made for a product. Coefficient of discharge is the efficiency of the vent. Aerodynamic free area is the geometric area multiplied by the coefficient of discharge. And the free area is the size of the vent at its smallest point minus the area of any obstructions such as motors or blades. And finally, which of these areas matter when you're procuring or specifying for a project? Well, that's free area and aerodynamic free area. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.